Hello, my lovely YouTube family. If you are new, welcome. My name is Chris, and today's video is about one of my favorite topics or one of my favorite notes, vanilla. Listen, vanilla is a note you can wear year round. Summer is no exception. And I'm going to go over some of the vanilla perfumes that I will be wearing this summer and I have worn in years past. Almost all of these I have spoken about before. I think I have two new or new-ish ones and I'm gonna speed through these because what time is it? It is 11.02 and I need to get out by noon to go to an exercise class and I don't wanna do that with my false lashes and my heavy makeup on. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite houses um, and Mikalef and I've got two vanilla perfumes that I love to wear in the summer. The first one is one of my all-time favorite tropical coconutty vanilla perfumes. This is a masterpiece. This is Ylang and Gold. I've spoken about it many, many times. One of my favorite summertime vanilla perfumes. It's got vanilla, Ylang, you know, that coconut, and together it smells like a banana pudding. It's so, so beautiful. It has that banana pudding vibe, but it also has some fresher notes. It's got peach, it's got lychee. It's got a teensy bit of oak moss and some beautiful creamy sandalwood in the base. This is absolutely gorgeous. If I was going to a destination wedding, I was the bride or I was going to be a guest, this would be my perfume. Absolutely beautiful. I've loved it for years and will continue to love it even when I drain the bottle and I'm getting close. I think it's halfway empty. One vanilla that I didn't realize was a good vanilla to wear in the summer until I wore it in the summer and I think it was because somebody here recommended that to me in the comments was Note Vani. This to me was always a colder weather um, vanilla till I wore it in the summer and oh my gosh this thing just warms up on the skin and becomes absolutely beautiful. It is 100% a year-round vanilla perfume but does amazing in the hot weather. It is definitely a boozy vanilla and that's why I wasn't sure if it was appropriate for the hotter weather. I mean, there's a lot of booze in here. So it's boozy, but it's really not kind of drowning in alcohol. It's got a little bit of citruses and a teensy bit of florals in the background. Gosh, it smells so absolutely beautiful and I would say moderate wearing. It's not a beast, but it's not a skin scent. It's gorgeous. And like I said, this really does, when it heats up on the skin, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, I think I'm gonna do two at a time. The next one is a very, very special perfume to me. It is Vanilla Planiforia, my ginormous five ounce bottle. I started off with a sample first and fell in love and knew I wanted the biggest bottle that they sold. This is a sweet powdery vanilla with a little bit of a greenness and the greenness almost comes off again like a banana floral. So it has almost this green banana vibe like the skin of a banana when it's still green. It's very sweet and it is very powdery in the dry down and it's not super strong But this is such an elegant powdery sweet floral a little bit green vanilla that is spectacular I do not wear this in the winter time at all because it screams Spring and summer to me and it wears lightly. I don't care absolutely beautiful And it's one that I pull for when I have something, you know, kind of special to go for Another one is um, an absolute obsession with me. Recently, I fell in love with this again with the 5 ml decant. And then when I went to buy the perfume, it was sold out. This is Queening, which is a beautiful vanilla, coconutty, cotton flower, apple, a little bit of evergreen vanilla. It's like a vanilla that could be a signature scent. A signature scent that is vanilla based is a little bit hard because it needs to work in all situation and all seasons and lots of vanillas do not qualify for that. This one is absolutely signature scent worthy. Again, it has a little bit of coconut. It has that vanilla, but it's not sticky sweet. It's not overbearing. It's not overly milky or creamy. It has this cotton flower accord in it and cotton flower or cotton blossom is added to perfumes to give a fluffiness. So this is a light, this is a fluffy, I'm not gonna say light, but it's a fluffy wearing perfume, like a cotton ball. It's so beautiful and airy and fluffy without being a ghost of a perfume. It's got this delicious green apple in the beginning and a little bit of an evergreen, which I think goes really, really wear well with that green apple, but don't let that evergreen, I think a cypress, you know, scare you. It does fade in the dry down, but it just goes so nicely with that green apple and it just lends a fresh quality and it balances out that vanilla coconut 
absolutely love it. A soft musk in the dry down, beautiful, beautiful. I wear this to work. Okay, I have said before that I absolutely love the House of Ormond Jane. They are just classy, classy. They put out some classy, elegant fragrances. Their newest release, Venide de Afrique, is no exception. I started off with the travel spray that they gifted me and felt head over heels in love. This one immediately reminded me of a fragrance that was sadly discontinued by Ormond Jane. It was called Venide de Iris or Venide de Iris. And I meant to purchase the bottle, but I never got around to. And then by the time I wanted to, by the time I got around to buying it, it was sold out everywhere because it had been discontinued, I think, for a year. And I was so sad. And so when I smelled this for the first time, I immediately thought of that perfume. Now, I know that there are some differences, but let me tell you, they are so, so similar. So if you were like me and really regret not buying that perfume, this is about as close as you're going to get. I don't know the differences in notes, but by memory to me, this one is a little bit darker. This one is a little bit more warm and it's a little bit more earthy. And I definitely pick up some of the spices in here and the vetiver that I do not believe was in Venise de Iris. That one I think was a little bit more floral, a little bit more iris forward. The iris in here is absolutely detectable, but there are other notes that really, really come out in this one. I get a lot of woodiness. It's very woody, it's very warm, it's earthy with the vetiver, it's a little bit dry, some spices. I wanna say coriander. I'm pretty sure there's no cumin in here. If there is, I do not pick up on it, thankfully, because that's almost a perfume killer. It's very, very warm. And the vanilla in here is not gourmand. Ormond Jane does not do gourmand vanilla. So don't be afraid of this. If you don't want to smell like a cupcake, you will not. It's still sweet and it has vanilla in there, but it is balanced by those really warm, earthy, kind of rich, slightly spicy notes with a beautiful buttery iris in the background. If you guys have been following me for as long as I've had my channel, you know I've had this perfume as long as I've had my channel. And I went through a very, very large travel sp spray beforehand but this is my beautiful Architects Club, which in my opinion could be a signature scent because it works um, year round, but it wears on the lighter side in the colder months. I wear it for colder months. I actually have worn it to, I actually wore it to a couple of kind of fancy, more dressed up occasions during the Christmas season. It does not last forever, but you're going to smell good and you're not gonna overpower other people, but it is a woody, citrusy, vanilla. Oh my word. It, so it has lemon. It has juniper. I love a juniper vanilla and toss in some woods and I'm super, super happy. And then, you know, icing on the cake, citruses. So this is a citrusy, aromatic, woody vanilla that I absolutely love. And if I didn't say it, the citruses in here are bitter orange and there's a little bit of lemon. So like a, a vanilla with a martini vibe, a little citruses, a hefty dose of woods in the background. This one is very, very similar to Eau Duel. So if you have Eau Duel, don't even think about getting your nose on this because it would be a waste. They're too similar. I used to have Eau Duel and I think I did a five day side by side wear and this one eked out Eau Duel just a little bit because the citruses are a little bit more prominent. The juniper is a tad more prominent and Eau Duel was a little bit more spicy even though I loved it, it's beautiful. This one just went out just a little bit. It's not a powerhouse and the vanilla in here is gorgeous and it leans on the gourmand side, but it does not smell like a cupcake. Absolutely unisex and one that Picky Pat thinks smells good. The next one is a perfume I absolutely, or vanilla I love to wear in the summer. It's not going to be for everybody, listen, we all know that there is no perfume for everybody. Somebody's love is going to be somebody's hate. You know, you get the drift. But this one by Mise en Cire is so beautiful. This is Très Cher, and this is hard for me to describe, but it smells like an angel on the beach. So if an angel landed on the beach, I would imagine this is how he or she would smell. It is a very angelic vanilla with a little bit of a saltiness and a touch of florals and like some, you know, driftwood in the background. It's very light, it's very fresh, it has, it's like sunshiny. Has a little bit of a solar note, it's got a teensy bit of a salty note, like some very mild background florals. I wanna say it's either jasmine or orange blossom. A super, super light 
amber in the base and this is one I do wear to work. I wore this to work the other day and because it's not offensive but I'm gonna smell good in my tight little scent bubble and I was in a small group and some people I did not know and this woman said somebody's wearing perfume and it smells absolutely amazing and nobody else spoke up and I and I knew it was me and it was Treasure. Gorgeous, light, fluffy, a little bit salty, a little bit floral, sweet but not overly sweet like an angelic vanilla. I love it but it's not going to be for everybody because it wears lightly and it is on the expensive side but if you are around strangers or you work in healthcare or you work in food service or something where you cannot wear something heavy but you still want to smell yourself this one is so pretty um the next one i it was just in my uh summer obsessions and it is one that i didn't love at first in fact i didn't I don't even think I liked it at first, but like the second, third, fourth wearing, I absolutely came to be obsessed with it. Now I am. And it's got a very big dent, even though I've only had it for about a month. And this is the um, Aqua Allegoria Basque Forte, Forte Basque Vanilla. So this is very much a beachy, salty, solar vanilla. The vanilla in here is very sweet. It is like a Guillaume vanilla and it is gourmand. It is a very sweet vanilla that has a beachiness and a little bit of saltiness to it. I wanna say the note, it's like a solar note, which is very bright and sunshiny and crisp and sparkly. It has a little bit of a eucalyptus note, a little bit of woods. Oh my gosh, I am just obsessed with this. For me, this hits the spot when I'm going somewhere, I'm a little bit dressed up and it's hot but I'm just craving a vanilla. This is one of my favorite summer vanillas right now. Another one that I fell in love with in um, Italy, I wore it when I went to the Profumum Romum Boutique and I wore this out the door and it lasted all day and I could smell it all day and it was like 97 degrees and it wasn't overly cloying, it didn't make me sick, it was just lovely, it was aqua y zucchero, which basically means sugar water. So it is a sweet, fruity, sugary vanilla. I think there are like non-specific fruits in here. It does have orange blossom. I'm telling you, I do not get orange blossom at all. I get something that smells like cotton candy, a little bit of fruity sweetness, and just deliciousness, and a sweet perfume that lasts all day. If you are absolutely in love with this, and this is not in your price range order budget, because it is expensive, this is in the same category as pink sugar. I prefer this way more. Pink sugar is a little bit more screechy. It smells more artificial. I get a plasticky note in it, and pink sugar does not last on me at all, but this one does. This is my preference. But if you fell in love with it and need something in your price range, pink sugar would be a nice alternative. The next really good summer vanilla was sent to me in PR by the lovely sisters over at Dyad Candle. And I had showed one of their perfumes in a previous video, my Fresh and Clean, and they actually ended up watching the video and they were so impressed and grateful that they have given my subscribers a lovely discount code. And I'm gonna be showing the second one they sent over to me, and this is so beautiful. It's called Highs and Lows, and this is for all of my viewers who are always looking for a really nice, cleanly formulated fragrance. And this is a cleanly formulated fragrance. They started off with candles and then they moved to body oils, which is on my wish list, and then they ended up making perfumes. These are absolutely beautiful and light. This is a gorgeous, non-gourmand vanilla with musk. That's really what I get. There are some background florals, very light. There are some background citruses, I wanna say. I don't have the notes committed by heart, but I'm just telling you this is one of the nicest, most pleasant, non-gourmand musky vanillas that is one of the that is definitely an easy reach vanilla like you could wear this in any situation and you're not going to offend anybody and i think the point of view was like you're winding down the day and you stop by a restaurant and you end with a lovely dessert so it does have a vanilla in it but to me it's not super gourmandy so for all of you out there who really don't like smelling like a dessert I know a lot of you out there are like that. This is beautiful and it has a, and the musk in here is ambrette. So it's, it's, a, it's a, a botanical musk. It's very light 
and it's very, very fresh. Now, this, these wear really lightly on the skin, but I have discovered that they last for a long time on the clothes. This one in particular, I think I sprayed like six, seven times on a shirt. I went to do laundry, picked up the shirt like three days later and I could still smell it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this perfume? It smells so good. And I had to think about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was highs and lows. So it lasts days on clothing. If you really kind of, you might have to overspray. And when I say overspray, that's more than six sprays. That's overspraying. <laughs> that's overspraying for me. But if you spray over that, get your, you know, layer it with, layer it with a body cream, spray it on your clothes. And if you can get your hands on the oils, which I'm planning on, um, it will last longer, but it's just so beautiful and lovely and inoffensive. So the other one that I'm going to show, and I've never spoken about this one either, but I've had it forever. It is called Berry Licious by Private Mood. And this one is a really, really fun perfume. And it comes off somewhere in between like a fruity sorbet and, um, oh gosh, a uh, cotton candy. So it's like you took a nice, delicious, citrusy, fruity sorbet and mixed it with a pink cotton candy. And then you're sipping like a pink lemonade at the same time. So it's got a little bit of citrusy. It's a little bit sour, just the slightest. I would call it more tart. It's tart, not sour. And as this dries down, it becomes more sweet and more vanillic and more cotton candy-like. It's just so fun. I think there's orange and red berries, but I get more of like a strawberry raspberry thing going on, some background florals and some vanilla. Just a super fun, whimsical fragrance that I really enjoy wearing. And that was it. Some of my top vanilla perfumes for summer. Again, not a complete list, but some fragrances I have already been wearing and I will continue to enjoy as the summer progresses. Thanks again for sticking around. Thanks to all of you out there and you know who you are, who always give me a thumbs up, give me a like or subscribe to my channel. Show up even though the video may not be something of your liking, you show up anyway and say hi. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. You make this YouTube thing even more fun than it already is. And if I haven't discussed one of your favorite summertime vanillas, we would all love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks again for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.